we've got a 2014-14 plate Suzuki GSX-R 600. It's done 9,997 miles. It's in very nice condition. There's a couple of little marks on it which I will show you as we go around. A tinted screen, double bubble, no damage on that, but obviously it's got the odd sort of general marks from general use. I've got a little stone chip there. Just again, just some general stone chips in a few places. No big cracks, no big heavy scratching at all on the front. little chip there on that plastic again a couple of sand chips front tires in nice condition and there's no damage on the front mud guard wheels are in generally good condition got a good couple of marks in a few places again from general use not damage headers look tidy we clean them as best we can. We don't take the headers off to clean the bike or anything like that. Radiator, signs of use, but no damage, no big repairs on it. Forks are in nice condition. The bottom of the forks are actually really nice condition. Not much in terms of stone shipping. The standard lines on it. Brake disc is good. Obviously, you can see it's been used, but they are not terribly worn, they're not all scabby and all the hubs look good no marks on the mirror that mirror moves a little bit spring is still there for parking but it's just a little bit of movement there but they don't, they don't go past beyond that so once you're riding they're not going to be flapping around at all lever, a couple of tiny marks on the end of the bar end, and all the dash and the top bits in nice condition, and it works as it should. Up on the tank, can't see any stone chips, no marks other than what you're going to expect to get in general wear and tear. We've got some gripper pads and a tank pad, we didn't put them on. So uh, we don't know if there is anything underneath there, but certainly nothing off can see. All the frames in good condition, no damage on there. So fairing looks good. So this is the first damage I can see. So here there is a couple of scratches there. It's also completely secure. There's a few scratches there, and there's a few scratches on this engine case. Can't see any scratches on the white plastic. I can't see anything other than this area, which is the scratches. So I'm going to show you that's from about two feet away. That's when you get about a foot away get up really close. It's not cracks, there's no leaks, no cracks in the plastic, the damage is there. So appreciate that's not for everybody, but it is there. Seats, the seat is in good condition, got the seat cowl on it. A couple of marks just from the rider getting on and off, what we would determine as damage. It's had a peg deletion, so obviously you haven't got a rear seat with it and it hasn't got rear pegs, it's got this exhaust hanger instead and it is an aftermarket GR motor exhaust. It's not real carbon, it's carbon effect. Rear brake pedal looks good, peg looks fine. Standard 
exhaust other than the slip on. The rear wheel, very similar to the front, just a couple of little marks, but generally good. Rear brake disc is fine. Nice little RNG tail tidy. There's a couple of marks just on top of the seat cowl again, just from rider getting on and off. And then we've got no marks on this side of the tank either. China sprockets obviously got signs of use, got loads of life left in them, no tight spots. No damage on the engine cases this side. Can't see any damage at all to the plastics. A couple of very, very, very light marks there. Light scratch to the bar end. Nothing to the clutch lever. So it's just there. So again, that's about two feet away. That's about a foot mm. away. And if we get super close up, we'll just see what I mean there. All the white bit and the little turn of it is actually sticker, so just there. There's a mark there that to me looks like it is either data tag material or at some point somebody's put some heated grips on and it's a little bit of glue. So again, it's just there, and again, that's about two feet away. That's about a foot away. That's when you get super, super close. But we don't go scraping stuff like that off just in case it causes a problem that otherwise isn't there. Um, show you on this panel. Just some very, very light marks just on, just on there, I can see. But like, it's really hard to see, to be fair, to be in the right light. So you can just see a couple of marks there. And they're not they're not heavy scratches it's just like a little bit of rubs on the paint really more than anything it's, like, it's really hard to see at all showed you that scratch earlier again a little bit of play in the mirrors but they're perfectly secure no marks on the end and again the front forks very similar to the other side so overall really nice bike very nice condition it's not concourse, there are a couple of scratches, but overall, really, really nice tidy bike. It's in our showroom now, it's sitting in Kent. We're open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday to Saturday. And if you've got any questions at all, please give us a call. Okay, I've just had something pointed out to me. So, just on this mirror here, just underneath, there is a little crack just there it does go through okay but it doesn't go right up to the mountain point so again it's all secure nothing's going to fall off but again it is there that's from a couple i, I didn't even just see it doing a, a, a kneel down video at all so that's from about two feet away that's from about a foot away that's right up so again, full disclosure, it is there, and I appreciate that will uh, eliminate some bias, but I mean, nothing if not honest. Any more questions, please give us a call.